Hello, I'm Dr. Richard Downs. I'm a dentist and I work in dental sleep medicine. I'm a dentist and I want to send dentist patients that come from chiropractors. Let me explain that and I'll show you my screen. So as I was saying, I'm a dentist and I want to send you patients, new patients from chiropractors. Specifically, there are patients for obstructive sleep apnea treatment. I have already developed the cross referral forms and the screening forms for both dentists and chiropractors so that you can easily cross refer to each other. I also have the online training program so you won't have to travel for the training if you don't want to do that. Many of you already know a lot about dental sleep medicine, and many of you don't. We can help either side of that issue. This slide presentation is also just part of the PowerPoint you will get to present to community groups and to dentists and to chiropractors if you want that. You can also modify it in any way you wish. The name of my organization is the Dental Chiropractic Collaborative at dentalchirocollaborative.com. This is usually the first slide in the community presentation that you'll have. You can modify these any way you wish. It's the treatment of snoring and sleep apnea with chiropractic and dental therapies. And we'll put your name in here. Why do we wanna work with chiropractors? Let me go through a couple of slides. Chiropractors and dentists can be at the forefront of discovering and referring and treating patients suffering from sleep-related breathing disorders. Chiropractors and dentists can see significant health improvements in their own patients by recognizing and addressing sleep-related breathing disorder damages to teeth and spines. Both see patients regularly and should be screening for sleep apnea and the related breathing signs and symptoms. Chiropractors working with dentists can be more effective than other healthcare professionals in helping children grow up avoiding problems caused by sleep-related breathing disorders. We all know that dentists can help expand the child's upper arch, open up the nasal airway, bring the lower jaw forward, and help a child grow up with a larger breathing apparatus that gives more air to them. And chiropractors can treat children who have forward head posture and scoliosis and help with many other systems that relate to breathing disorders. Why chiropractic? There's a medical bottleneck right now, for the diagnosis and treatment of obstructive sleep apnea. There are fewer medical professionals going into sleep medicine, not more, but fewer, and the bottleneck is getting worse. Right now, the medical profession specialty doesn't even have enough to treat all the asthma problems in the US, let alone the breathing disorders. Chiropractic offices are an untapped resource that no one's been using yet. And this is a new way of bringing new patients into your practice and diagnosing the 29 million out there who have largely been undiagnosed. It's a natural non-invasive treatment. Many states allow chiropractors to dispense and, and even fit CPAPs. Also, the weight gain that is caused by obstructive sleep apnea causes tremendous problems for chiropractic care in the stability issues that they can get with their treatments. And many chiropractors have wellness centers which can address the weight gain issues. And we know how important that is to treating obstructive sleep apnea. Sleep apnea causes severe health issues, car accidents and public disasters. And we train actively chiropractors on these issues. As a matter of fact, many DOT certified chiropractors can use this for their screening exams. These truckers who go out on the road, if they're not diagnosed and they have a sleep issue, are a tremendous hazard for everyone. Also, the comorbidities that go along with obstructive sleep apnea, such as TMJ disorders, morning headaches, forward head posture, and weight gain, and many others can be treated by chiropractic care. Chiropractic care can help patients adapt to the new oral appliances more quickly 
This is a really important item. When I'm done putting in an oral appliance, the first place I send them the next day is to a chiropractor so that they can help these patients get adapted to the appliance more quickly. We know that they have, if they adapt to the oral appliance more quickly from the stretch muscles and the sore TMJs and the temporalis and the forward neck posture, if we can get them adapting to this appliance more quickly, we get better compliance and that's important for us. And also better patient care and cost savings for patients takes place when we, got, we use these natural therapies. Home sleep studies. We can actually send these home sleep studies. I, I work with a number of people who can do these and we can send them re remotely to the patients of the chiropractor or the chiropractor can order these HSTs themselves. We can do this for dental offices as well. They will be interpreted by a qualified sleep specialist MD. They will help you interpret them and help you with your patient consults. I will help you find chiropractors to work with you. We can train both online and in the office. If you wish you have in-office training in your dental office, we can do that. We can also do that for chiropractors. We have medical billing training for those who want to have medical billing training for their staff, or we have medical billers that can do the billing for you. This is just one of the slides that we use for chiropractors to help them understand the impact of sleep-related breathing disorders. For instance, you know, four hours of effective sleep is equivalent to being legally drunk in the amount, in the amount of sleepiness it causes. And we talk about snoring. We have simple screening forms that we've developed that take 30 seconds for a chiropractor to put together. And they will know whether they wanna to refer to the dentist or not, or get a, an HST. It helps them understand quickly and easily how to screen these patients. And believe me, there's a large population of chiropractic patients out there that need this, as well as dental office patients. And we have them for dentists as well. We teach the chiropractor on the different terminology that dentists use and also basic, basic training on the oral appliances and how they all work. We have some, about three or four studies in here on chiropractic impact on breathing. Here's one by Menon. This study was on 22 normal subjects that had significant improvements after chiropractic manipulation on forced expiratory flow rates compared on T-tests. This is another study by Kissinger, and this study was, um, showed improvements in both forced vital capacity and forced expiratory volume in one second. And the benefit was greatest for those people who had abnormal baseline values. And here's a couple of studies on salivary cortisol levels that were affected and in, in, in significantly improved by chiropractic care. And we know that the cortisol levels are the things that lead to weight gain in our, in our uh, sleep apnea patients. So this is just a few of the slides. There's many slides in this presentation that you can use, both dental research and chiropractic research that supports these treatment modalities. Here's my offer. My offer is a 20 minute free consult attached to this flyer and this social media campaign is a, link that you can click on and find a time that works for both you and me to talk together and we'll explore whether this is right for you or not if you have questions you can also email me at info at dental this is dr richard downs thank you